In lockdown, I've been doing a lot of um, push-ups and push-up variations. I'm going to come out of quarantine with a big chin. That's, yeah. Hey Tom, I'm calling to check in on you and get some self-care tips that keep you staying positive. First question, what exercise makes you feel the happiest? The exercise that makes me feel happiest? Uh, a bit of a weird question because doing exercises themselves never makes me feel that happy in the moment, but I always feel elated after I've finished. When the gym was open, I like to do chest press and um, big muscle groups around the shoulders and chest. So uh, in lockdown, I've been doing a lot of um, push-ups and push-up variations and getting to grips with my chins. That's my new target, being good at chins this year. I'm going to come out of quarantine with a big chin. That's, yeah. What's the one meal that always lifts your spirits? So the meal that always makes me feel good after eating it, I'm going to have to say, and it's definitely, definitely a cheat meal, but it is my favourite, spaghetti bolognese with loads of grated parmesan and cracked black pepper and a big, big glass of red wine. Oh yes, please, thank you. What are your feelings on meditation? What are my feelings on meditation? Well, the old me back in the day probably would have been very cynical about it, but that's because of my own ignorance and um, just lack of understanding of what meditation is. Um, I wouldn't say that I practice it myself. Um, I've had a couple of therapists over the years who've suggested it, and um, I've had a go. But I think ultimately the idea behind meditation is that you can switch off your mind from all of the other stuff that goes on in your life that's constantly whirling around. So I don't meditate, but I do play golf. And um, for me, golf is my kind of meditation because it's the only place where I am and I don't think about anything else that's going on in my life. Um, and I turn my phone off, which is not the most popular decision at home, but there you go. What music helps you relax? What sort of music do I listen to to chill out? Well, I kind of, I listen to loads of different types of music, a very eclectic taste. I, I grew up playing in orchestras, weirdly, so I listen to classical music sometimes, but I listen to rock, I listen to jazz. It really depends. I think in our household though, when we walk in as a general rule, we'll probably ask Alexa to play either Fleetwood Mac or uh, The Rolling Stones. Good solid go-tos. What TV shows are you watching while self-isolating? During lockdown, what TV shows have I uh, stumbled across to lift my spirits? Well, the truth is, not many to lift my spirits. I've seen some very good stuff. Um, Normal People, which was fantastic on the BBC and on Hulu. And Dead to Me, season two, fantastic. But um, I think if we're looking to be uplifted in our household, we always go back and watch episodes of Friends because uh, we know them all, they're always funny. Uh, it it reminds, of us, uh, reminds us of a better time. <laughs> Um, and it's got that air of nostalgia about it, so friends for definite. Do you ever nap? Do I nap? Uh, yes I do, or well, now I've got five cats, I cat nap. Um, but I learned a few years ago um, on, uh, on Lucifer, and actually on the job before that rush, I, was, I had very, very hectic schedules, um, and I didn't <laughs> always have a lot of time to sleep at night. Um, so I learned that going back to my trailer when I had an opportunity, and lying down, uh, even for like 10 minutes, and, and closing my eyes during that time, um, just so I could quieten everything down, um, it really actually helped, and it would, it would give me a lot more energy for the next few hours. Um, and it's definitely a better alternative than drinking coffee all day, which is something I am very, very good at for my sins. Who would you call to lift your spirits? The person that I would call to lift my spirits, well, there's probably two people, actually. Um, my youngest daughter, Marnie, who always makes me laugh, because she is quite possibly one of the funniest people I've ever met. Uh, and then, uh, in the adult world, I guess that I will always call my elder sister, Anwin, who, um, she knows me the best, she knows the real me, um, and... She always gives me, you know, a good sense of perspective on things and um, a real sense of calm about stuff, especially when I'm feeling angsty. Um, so, my sister, I love her. If you could spend a self-care day with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? If I could spend a self-care day with anyone, dead or alive, ooh, it would have to be, I think, Julie Andrews. 
because Mary Poppins, one of my top five films of all time, she came in and she brought that family back together and she lifted those spirits in that house. And uh, similarly, in The Sound of Music, and they escaped the Nazis. So, Julie Andrews, all the way for me. Please come to my house and make me feel better about myself. <laughs>